Hello, I'm Rochelle, and this is episode 134 of The Genuine Realtor Show, which airs every Friday. Today, I'm taking you on a tour of Burlington's Southeast neighborhoods. We've got Elizabeth Gardens and Pinedale. Ready? Let's go. The biggest advantage to being on the eastern border is going to be for our Toronto bound commuters. So if you are headed into Toronto or anywhere in the GTA, those savings and time add up quickly. Let's kick this off here in beautiful Pinedale, a neighborhood with a diverse mix of town complexes, condos, and detached homes. Now, this community is essentially divided into two sections, the one developed in the late 60s and the one developed in the late 90s. Both offer amazing community feels, easy access to commuting hubs like the QEW and Appleby GO station, as well as two major shopping plazas. If you're enjoying these neighborhood tours, please do hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode. The first development of the area offered a lot of bungalows, side and back splits, all on good sized lots. As the townhouse complexes were introduced, the population of the area began to grow. This is a trend that continued as large condo buildings were built. These condos have become a popular choice for downsizers looking for lake views and easy walkability to nearby shops and restaurants. The second community brought with it more detached two stories on slightly smaller lots, as well as more of those amazing towns which opened up options for people migrating out of the busy city life who are looking for the convenience of more space in a great location. Pinedale is home to four major park systems, including Sherwood Forest Park in all of its spectacular glory. Like the sports fields, playground, soccer domes, easy hiking trails, and the beginning of the South End's paved path. It leads you all the way downtown in about 35 minutes if you're on an easy paced bike ride. Check out the entire adventure to Burlington Beach in my video specifically on this path. It's a fun ride and it lets you enjoy all of the amenities of downtown without exhausting your budget. The other honorable mention here is Foddergill Woods Park, a family favorite of ours because of the shade cast by the large trees, the open green space with landscaping for hide and seek, as well as the fenced boundaries for those runners. Pinedale also has the added bonus of two creeks to explore, Sheldon Creek and Appleby Creek. And we can't forget to mention Burlington's Centennial Pool. Honestly, if you are looking for affordability, easy commutes, and a community that's walkable with lots to offer, Pinedale might just be perfect for you. If you are considering a move to Pinedale or any neighborhood in the area, reach out. I'd love to chat about your real estate goals. Next up, we are in Elizabeth Gardens, the most southeast you can get in the city, and it's full of a diverse mix of homes. From the lakeside condos, to the estates on large lots, to the post-war boom of detached bungalows and splits, to the townhouse complexes dotting the outskirts, Elizabeth Gardens has something for everyone. Now being on the water does have the advantage of Burl Oaks Waterfront Park, a 14-ish acre park space that offers paved walking paths, playground, pavilions, a lookout pier, and plans for a splash pad. It's a true hallmark location in this neighborhood and walkable by many of the condo buildings on the southeast corner of Elizabeth Gardens. Other wonderful amenities here include access to Oakville's amazing Bronte Harbor community and Shell Park, which is a short drive or stroll just beyond Burl Oak which includes two amazing dog parks, sports fields, an epic skate park, trails to explore, and even a cute playground to enjoy. Now it's not just about the waterfront access. 
There are also five parks within the boundaries of Elizabeth Gardens, as well as multiple shopping plazas, schools, and will be home to Burlington's newest community centre, which is planned to begin development in the next year. With many affordable options for older homes, intermingled with truly stunning infill, newer builds and renovated homes, Elizabeth Gardens is a unique place to call home in Burlington. Thank you so much for touring Pinedale and Elizabeth Gardens with me. They are both just such great neighborhoods with so much to offer. Now, if you are considering making a move to the Burlington, Hamilton, and surrounding areas, please do reach out. I would love to chat about your real estate goals. And if you're looking somewhere beyond my area of expertise, that's okay. Still reach out because there's a very good chance I know a great realtor wherever you're looking. Until next week, keep it genuine.